everybody. It's me, your Wiki Tree Forest Elf, and I'm here, and we are trying a new way to do our Member of the Week feature. Normally, we do them in written posts in G2G, but we thought it might be fun to try and do a video interview so you can actually see the person, get to know them a little better that way. So this week, I'm very excited because we have one of our team members, Mindy Silva. I'm sure most of you have seen her around because she's literally pretty much everywhere. She is <laughs> our challenge coordinator, so she leads our Wikitree challenge and our source-a-thons and connect-a-thons. She leads more projects than I could probably name, but I know there's uh, quite a few, and we'll talk about that in a bit here. Um, but we're just excited to share a little bit about her with all of you. And so I'm excited to be here. Yay! So we'll just jump in and we can find out all about Mindy. So when and how did you get interested in genealogy? Uh, I got interested when I was a freshman in high school and we had an assignment to fill out just a basic family tree. And I was really excited. You know, they taught us how to look at microfilm and everything. And then that's when I found out that I really didn't have any family members that like to talk about the family <laughs> and yeah they either couldn't or wouldn't answer mm -hmm. questions and for you know a lot of the other my classmates they could look at the microfilm well we were all military families and moved around a lot my ancestors weren't from that state and so yeah my teacher wound up having to grade me on effort and not <laughs> what i could not produce but it really inspired me you know to look further at who i had descended from that's really cool it's neat to hear all the different ways that people get inspired to get into their family history, for sure. Um, what are some of your interests outside of genealogy? You mean there's non-genealogy interests? <laughs> I know, it's shocking. Just kidding. <laughs> I know, it's shocking. There's time away from Wikitree. Like what? Hmm. Um, I know. For those five uh, minutes a day, what do you do? <laughs> yes, for those five minutes and all my free time of five minutes. Um, <laughs> in the winter, I like to crochet baby things. So I do hats and blankets and booties for the Ronald McDonald house. Oh, and cool. in the warmer months, I do gardening and canning and cooking. And my biggest non-Wiki Tree interest, which is still Wiki Tree related though, are my daughters and my 12 beautiful grandchildren and they are my joy, so. 12 grandchildren? Yes. Your newest one was born this year or last year? Yes. Nice. Yeah, just a few months ago. That's good, that, that's fun. I think there were four COVID babies, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> But there were a lot of COVID babies. <laughs> might might be five. Oh wait, yeah, it was five. five. So during the yeah, during the last two years Your and when people were doubled. locked down, yep, yeah, them grandbabies started popping out. <laughs> One good thing about COVID, right? Yes. Gotta look at the positives. <laughs> so what is your genealogy research focus? Uh, my focus is pretty much split and really, you know, I do spend a lot of time. Anybody that knows me knows I spend a lot of time on Wikitree and, you know, usually I spend so much time with things like the Wikitree challenge, which is just so much fun and helping others, which I really like to do. And I get all caught up and I don't really get to my own genealogy very mm -hmm. often. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I was new on Wikitree, I was working really hard to just expand my ancestors and move everything from another site over to this one. And no, I still haven't done that yet. <laughs> I have people that I haven't moved over. So I feel that. Yeah. I always think I'm going to get mine over and someday it's going to happen. Um, do you think that your focus has changed over the years? Obviously like with stuff you do for Wikitree that it really has. And, you know, once again, I mean, I really was focused on my own family to begin with, but, you know, I've just fallen in love with all the different projects and the activities that you can do. And once again, I'm somebody that likes to teach and likes to help. And that comes out of my background and, you know, and there's so many opportunities to do that on WikiTree. You can just Wiki all day. <laughs> <laughs> and all It's night. very easy to do. <laughs> so true. Many rabbit holes. Um, so are there certain surnames or locations like that you're interested in, like for your family or? Yeah, well, Portugal is still my greatest passion right now. 
I love the records. I love the culture. That's not something I grew up around. And, you know, as far as looking through the baptism registers and whatnot, I can literally sit and do that for just hours. I, I really like it. I find it relaxing and I love looking for ancestors that way. Very cool. Um, do you have a favorite ancestor? This one's hard. I, I can never pick just one. Uh, I do have one that kind of has stayed a favorite of mine. And her, actually, I don't know what her name is. And I had come across a photo on, you know, one of those law sites where they have the family photographs. Oh, yeah. And yeah. And there was a girl that a young lady that had had her picture taken. And she never went back and picked the pictures up. And the photographer had made notes that he thought it was a little odd because she gave a maiden name and a married name, like, you know, she was married or, you know, newly married. But he said she was really just schoolgirl age and whimsical is what he had called her. And the name she had put on that was Isabella Bland Levitt, which is the name of my 10th, 9th great grandmother one of my ninth great grandmothers. So I think she was fancying herself, you know, as her much loved grandmother or great grandmother, because she was the only one that had, <laughs> um, had that name and, you know, gone in and had these photographs taken, which obviously daddy didn't know about because they never got paid <laughs> for and picked up. And, you know, I just really, um, I love the thought of that, that she was so, uh, you know, in love with, with her grandmother, her great grandmother, and the family she came from, that she used that name when she had her um, photograph taken. That so that really was really cool. cool. Yeah, and the ninth great grandmother, by the way, was born in 1602, and those those cards from this photography um, studio weren't available till the mid 1800s. So you know, it definitely had to have been, um, yeah, had to have been a really, really far away one. Yeah. Very cool. I like that she's described as whimsical. That's yes. Cool. Um, do you have a favorite genealogical discovery or a break, like a brick wall breakthrough story? Yes. One of my first ones on Wikitree. And I was so excited because, of course, you know, I didn't know that much about the site yet. And I was so stuck on my Paul line, which went back into England. So there was, you know, no language barriers, but the records were very hard to find and you know if you don't know the geography there um it can be tricky and i had gone out into the g2g finally one day i'm like i'm just gonna try this and i went out in the g2g and i said help you know everything i've looked at i cannot figure out who her parents are and several people just jumped right in they all started looking for records um, one of the people found one of the marriage documents and it turns out that her brother had signed as a witness to the marriage and since her father wasn't available and through the brother's records they were able to help me track down who the parents were and it just it was so exciting you know and once again i was very new so i was like really super impressed but yeah. you know um five years later i'm still impressed by what wikitree collaboration can accomplish it's just amazing we really do have the best community I'm not biased, but we do. At all. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what is your toughest brick wall right now? I have several, but I think we all have those several we know we're not going to get through. Um, my two hardest are on opposite sides of my branches. So on my father's side, I have a um, great grandfather that was born in South Korea. So the language barrier wow. there is obviously, yeah, big permanent. Um, that's a big block for me. One of my descendants is, you know, the great grandkids or something is going to have to learn Korean and, <laughs> and do some research on that because yeah. um, I think I'm a little bit long in the tooth to do that. <laughs> and then on my mother's side, I have a third great grandmother and she was born in Ireland. And right before the potato famine happened, she was shipped over to the U.S. to find a suitable husband that could care for, you know, and even though the potato famine hadn't happened, there were a lot of really poor areas and, you know, it was common for people to starve. And so, you know, her parents sent her on hoping to give her a better life. But, you know, then on top of it, she had this super common name and none of her United States documents listed where she came from, but mm -hmm. Ireland. 
not quite hopeful. Yeah, DNA one day maybe, you know. Could be. So how long have you been on WikiTree? I joined in July. I had to look this and look at this earlier. I joined in <laughs> July of 2017, but it really feels like I've been on here forever now, a lot longer than that. Yeah. Um, I was I was looking for ways to collaborate with two cousins of mine, and we were working on that Portuguese uh, ancestry. You know, and when you work on sites like Ancestry, there's a lot of really great records and things that are helpful, but you can't collaborate with somebody on a tree. Right. You know, and we were trying all these different methods of saving our documents in the same place and starting a database system, which was really um, re just really time consuming and, you know, doing group phone calls. And I kind of looked around and that's when I found WikiTree. And, you know, so not only did I bring those cousins over and we've got an immense amount of work done since then, but I found a lot of cousins um, on the site since I've been here. You know, and it's it's exciting when somebody just reaches out and goes, hey, how are you related to so and so? That's my great grandma. And you're like, no, that's my Hi. great grandma. <laughs> yeah, other cousins. cousins. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's another thing on the other site. You know, you reach out to somebody and you're like, oh, I see you're working on this person. How are they related? And you hear nothing, you know, nothing. Uh, nothing. And here people come find you or when you do message them, they're like, oh, you know, that's my so-and-so or, oh, I was helping, you know, a friend work on that line. Here's the friend. Yeah. And you get responses. For sure. Yeah. And they're as excited as we are. <laughs> I know. Which is great. I'm like, cousin. They're like, cousin. cousin. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and that's cool because that's, I mean, that's essentially how WikiTree got started is Chris had all this family history that he was looking to figure out how can I share this with my family and have them add stuff. And I mean, that was how WikiTree was born basically. So here's a question that may take you a while to answer. What do you spend the most <laughs> time doing on WikiTree and why are you doing um, it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, why, what do I spend the most time doing on WikiTree? I wiki. Um, yeah. I know my signature used to be um, so much to wiki, so little time. Like but that. right now, I think the challenge is still probably my biggest focus. And, you know, I love the fact that we can gift this knowledge of people's ancestral lines and their ancestors to them and, you know, their cousins and whatever descendants come along. And, you know, and that we can bring this, this, uh, these people back to life. And watching the researchers collaborate is amazing. Uh, you know, we had last year that we we broke down brick walls that professional genealogists hadn't broken down. And, you know, it just was crazy. Them. Yeah, crazy impressive. Just crazy impressive. Yeah. It was so much more successful than I even thought it would be. And, you know, this year, even though we're doing the more generalized focus, we're doing the celebrity focus, um, it's no less impressive. You see these guys get together and work in groups and you know tear apart records and analyze everything and make sure it's done and you know when we get anybody from the new new wiki trayer to super super experienced ones and so it's just really a lot of fun to watch and then yeah. um you know just the other projects i'd say overall if i had to generalize it it'd be projects because yeah i like yeah. the projects it's cool because especially with the challenge you really get to be in like the heart of everything that wiki is really about like every day you get to see the benefits of the collaboration and working together and like what can be done with all of that. And we get to talk to projects that, you know, some of us um, normally wouldn't have worked with. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's another great thing. So not only are we learning from these other projects because they share their experience, you know, but there's people we talk to now that we would have never known otherwise if it weren't for the challenge. So we're like, oh, yeah, I love those people from the Netherland mm -hmm. Project or, you for know, sure. oh, I, I love. Yeah, it's great that we can work and I learn new stuff about Sweden. Oh, you know, and yeah. we know we start recognizing these names um, as they come in and talk with us yeah. in Discord. And it's really great. Yeah, it was a great way to include some of those um, international projects that we don't always get to come across for sure. Mm -hmm. So speaking of projects, which ones are you the most involved with? 
Well, I've already covered a lot on the Wiki Tree Challenge, so I'd have to say that, you know, right now, a lot of time is also spent with a new Appalachian project and helping get that off the ground. So the members in that are really excited. It's fun. And they're really eager and things are moving along pretty quickly. Um, you know, we just really have a blast in there. And then also had recent uh, renewed interest in the Latin American project. Mm -hmm. And so that one I would really like to cover in November when we do our um, Wikitree Symposium, our anniversary event, and, mm -hmm. you know, just get the word out there and, and bring even more people in and, you know, to, to help them with those ancestors and teach them about Wikitree. That would be really great. We can use all the help we can get. Yes. So speaking of that, how can others help with those projects and what do the projects need help with? Well, you know, the projects always have, once again, the different levels of experience. So you don't have to be worried that, you know, we've had people come to us with a, the new Appalachia project and go, well, I don't know if I can qualify, but, you know, my family's from there. Can I do this? Yeah. Well, yes, very definitely, 100%. And we don't turn anyone away. You know, and people can come in uh, and add their their ancestors in or, you know, they can learn how to do stickers and add stickers to the, the various profiles. We've done little mini tutorials and whatnot and nice. chats where we teach people tools that they can use elsewhere on Wikitree. I mean, we just really have a lot of fun with it. So any, you know, any experience level, there's always something you can do. Some people don't like to create the new profiles at all. That's great. They can go around and, you know, improve some of the other ones somebody did go through and create. For sure. Very cool. So what um, inspires you to contribute so much of yourself to the Wikitree mission? Uh, I think it's really just, you know, comes down to the basics of documenting our ancestors and bring the, bringing them back to life because it really is so important. And, you know, especially not knowing a lot when I grew up, I think, you know, now that I've gotten older, I really understand how important it is that we do know where we came from and, you know, that we do know about these ancestors. And in this way of us documenting and going through those records and sharing our experience, by, you know, telling their stories, it's allowing them to carry on for generations and generations now. And, you know, I, I mean, it's some pretty powerful stuff. You start looking through your branches and you're like, wow, you know, those are, those are my ancestors. That's really cool. And so, you know, it is, I think, an important legacy that I leave to not only my grandchildren, but cousins and, you know, other descendants. Well, and, you know, you've done so much work on so many things outside your family that you'll you'll touch a lot of lives with the work that you've done. I In certainly and out of hope so. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite feature on the Wiki Tree and why? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's one I can't pick just one either. But one of my favorite things that I always start with is the biographies. I love that we have that big, what I call white space. Mm -hmm. You know, to me, it's just like a free, big, empty whiteboard. And you can get in there and you can tell the, the ancestor story and you can talk about their kids and their life and their occupations and their tragedies. And you can go in and add pictures, you know, and make it even more interesting and eye-catching so other people will come read about them. Uh, you know, but I also couldn't do any more daily without all of the amazing tools that we have on hand. Anything from, you know, citation helpers to sourcing help to category selection. And now we have this great CC7, you know, it shows our connections within seven degrees, seven degrees of us. So it's just one more kind of fun things us genealogy nerds really like. Love <laughs> Yeah, and it makes it even more fun to, to be on Wikitree doing what we love. For sure. Is there a feature or function that you would like to see added? I wish that we had, I had to think about this. Um, I was thinking about this earlier, but I wish that we had a sticker selection like we do the category selection. You know, because oh, yeah. when I joined Wikitree, you had to go find the category and then you had to copy it and then you go back to the profile and you had to, and now you can just, there's a drop down thing. You can start typing it in and it'll tell you. Um, I would like to see that for stickers where you can say like revolution or civil war and it'll show you, 
what you can pull in as, as a sticker because stickers can be really confusing if you don't know how to use them. Yeah, and sure. I think, yeah, I think more people would use them if it were a little bit easier. Or, you know, I still hear all the time people are like, oh, I didn't know there was a sticker for that. Wait, let me copy that. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm going to put that in my notes. Yeah, um, you know, so I think there's a lot of, of underused uh, stickers that can really help highlight specific events in somebody's life. Definitely. I would use them a lot more if there is a sticker drop down for sure. Yeah. Definitely. That's a good one. Um, do you have a story about how someone has helped you through a tree? Has helped me? Yeah. Or that I helped? Has, um, let's start with has helped you. Has helped me. Yeah. Well, I covered the awesome brick wall. So I would have to say, I think the biggest help was just really a collection of people because when I was new on WikiTree and it seems so overwhelming at first, you know, there's yeah. so many things you don't know how to do. And you look at people's profiles and you're like, I don't even know how they're doing that, you know? <laughs> um, and so what I did is I read through the G2G every day, like every day I followed the G2G. And I would see what people were working on or, you know, what they did to find when they jump in and do that collaboration. And somebody says, oh, look at this for this record and fix the profile this way. You know, but I'd also look for stuff that was broken because I'm yeah. like, I don't want to break something, <laughs> um, you know, and I'd go, somebody go, I think I broke it. And somebody else would go, no, you just do this. And I'd be like, wait, let me put that let in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> let me put that in my notes. So when I break that later, I know how to yeah. fix it. And, you know, between doing, and then when I couldn't figure out just from the post, man, I was like fearless. I'd email, I don't <laughs> care who you are, I'd email you. Hey, how did you do that? You know, That's um, great. I saw you, yeah, I saw you help this person. Um, how did you fix that sticker though? And, you know, I never had anybody like ignore me or, you know, get frustrated. Everybody yeah. just seemed really super happy to help me understand um, what they had done. And awesome. that was you know, looking back on it, really incredible that so many people were, were like that. Yeah, it would be great if new members could be that brave and just, or even longtime members that aren't sure, like just email somebody and ask and the chances are good, you'll get a helpful answer. Yeah. So. And never think your questions are stupid. Um, you know, that's something I always told myself. The only stupid question is when you don't ask. So just yeah. ask it. And the most somebody's going to do is go, you know, I don't know. Let me check on that. And they'll probably come back with the answer. Or someone um, who can help you. Yeah. So there's probably hundreds and thousands of stories about you helping other people on the country. <laughs> but do you yes. have a favorite? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about one only because I just heard from him again this morning. And, you know, back when I was co-leading the greeters and the mentors and mediators, I had somebody that was new to WikiTree and he was really struggling, you know, with a learning curve and an elder gentleman. Yep. And, you know, once I started helping him, he finally told me, he goes, I'm just adopting you. You're my permanent Aww. mentor on WikiTree. And years later, I still hear from him. So, awesome. you know, he'll come and say, hey, I need a second set of eyes on this. Or, you know, this morning it was, hey, I'm trying to find this baptism. And, um, you know, I'm not sure that this taking this path is right. But sometimes it's just, oh, you know, tell me how his dog is doing or, <laughs> you know, how the job is. And I get a little chitter chatter. And it's just really fun to see that and know that, you know, that connection was made through with yeah. tree and, you know, and I have others like that. So that's really fun. That is really cool. Shout out to our greeters and mentors. Yes. Um, let's see. So do you have any tips for someone? I mean, you kind of talked a little bit about how you got started in Ricky tree and what you did with GDG and asking questions. Do you have any other tips? Um, you know, I definitely use the G2G a lot. Don't be afraid to ask questions, but join projects too. Uh, you know, don't worry that you're not going to be good enough because it, when you go and you join a project, that's what it should be doing is helping you increase those skills and sure. learn how to do new things. And, you know, and now we also have live chat on the WikiTree Discord server and that I love, love, love. So, you know, instead of just doing emails back and forth, we can actually chat live and hash okay. out a problem and 
you know, talk about it. And we get to see even more people in there that you might not see otherwise. And it's just really a fun way, you know, and you go in and you see, hey, I, does anybody happen to know about this obscure, you know, Virginia law? And there's usually someone <laughs> oh that's like, gosh. yeah, why do you ask? Yeah. I know. Oh, wait. I, yeah, I just looked at that for one of my relatives. What do you need? And, you know, people are just so friendly and helpful and, you know, and it's around the clock. We're, we're a global site. So yeah. there's there's always someone chatting somewhere. Yeah, there's an astounding pool of knowledge to pull from in our community. Yeah, so don't be shy. Don't be shy. Um, and then what do you think that we could do um, to inspire more people to participate in our mission? Well, I like to think some of the ways we're already doing it um, with things like the Wiki Tree Challenge, because we are yeah. reaching out, you know, and there's so many people out there that don't know how good the site is. And if we don't reach out somehow, they're never going to find know. out. Yeah. Um, I really wish that people would share more with their social media. Yeah. And, you know, and it doesn't have to be like, oh, I made this big brick wall breakdown discovery you know it can just be like oh this was interesting who knew my third great grandfather was a carpenter you know i never knew that um just little things like that to garner interest because you never know who's reading your post that might That's go true. oh wow i didn't know that about great grandpa so and so yeah. um you know they might be really interested in hearing that information so that you know i'd really like to to see more people reaching out like that and sharing what they found that's a good one that would be great. Yeah, any little tidbit. I see, you know, we have the Facebook group for the Wiki Tree, for Wiki Tree, and I'm always happy when I see someone post just like, even even without a tidbit, just like, here's my third great grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, cool, you know, because you never know that, you know, who might, maybe it's their third great grandfather or that person they were looking for. They just think it's a cool profile and get interested in Wiki Tree. I know I got into my widgets the other day and I shared one of the images of my tree that it made on Facebook and Lynn's like, that's really odd because you never share that kind of stuff, like your tree. Yeah. Um, and I was like, you know what, honestly, I just don't think about it. <laughs> um, yeah. It's terrible. You know, we just, we all need to think more in the mindset that we're not the only ones that are nerdy enough to like the genealogy <laughs> stuff. There's probably, yeah, there's there probably are. other people out there that are interested also. Yeah, definitely. Well, cool. Well, Mindy, it's been nice to get to know a little bit more about you. I'm sure people who watch this will also enjoy learning little things about you. And thanks for doing this. Thank you. This was a we'll lot of fun. Back in the tree. Yes. <laughs>